where you had to step aside to gain perspective. You had to step back from that problem. I call these things wisdom through distance. And I'm seeing the head team. The first time I ever had one of these episodes, I was a senior in college, and looking around here, that was a little before most of you were born. <laughs> But to understand why I needed that wisdom, we got to back up about 18 hours to the previous morning. And there I was, lamenting to my friends about how all my life's problems seemed to be coming to a head all at once. And much like a pimple that was under pressure, I exploded. My first friend said to me, he said, you know, Bob, your thesis would get written if you just stopped procrastinating. Of course, he was wrong, and I told him that. I said, you're wrong. I said, there's so much more going on in my life that you just don't understand. I don't have control over the situation. My second friend said to me, you know, you've been living out of your trunk for a month now. You work two hours away from campus. You're burned out. You need a weekend off. And of course, I fired back to him as well, telling him how wrong he was. He said, you know, I went to school to learn how to do this. I'm fortunate to have my job before I graduate. I cannot call my boss and say, I'm too tired to come in. And my third friend, well, she was a girl that I was sort of kind of trying to date. And she announced that she was going to Virginia for several days. Virginia was code for hooking up with her ex. <laughs> My zit exploded. I roared, I rampaged, I stormed out of that dorm room, I marched my ass across campus, and I, I was still seething when I got to my own dorm room, so I did what was the only logical thing to do at that point. I grabbed my car keys, and I drove 264 miles, according to Google Maps, to Worcester, Massachusetts. And not five minutes after I parked the car, I got a ticket to that nice Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> no Grateful Dead. So I boogied and I danced all by myself for the next three hours among 12,000 other deadheads. It was about midnight that I began that long overnight drive home. I had four and a half to five hours to get back to campus. And if you had been in the car riding shotgun with me, you would have noticed that wisdom entered the car somewhere after we got off the parking or off the highway and onto the long winding roads of the Poconos with no lights on the road. It was then, nearly 500 miles after my problems had set in, that I realized exactly what the problem was. I was a tempestuous 21-year-old boy. My problems, right, could all be solved. My employer knew I had a, uh, a month to go before I finished school. He'd give me the weekend off. With the weekend off, I could write my thesis, do the laundry in the back of the car, and obviously get caught up on the sleep I wasn't getting that evening. And as far as the girl was concerned, well, I kind of grew tired of that frictional dance we were doing trying to accommodate a third person in the relationship. <laughs> so, you know, I knew I'd deserve better than that. 500 and some miles between my problems and wisdom. Perhaps next time your plate piles up with problems, wisdom will come a little bit more smoothly.